Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. I hope that you are all doing well and that you're all having a great day. Welcome back for another weekend edition. These are videos that are typically longer than my normal videos that I make during the week. I go in depth or speak a bit more about other projects or different things that are happening in the cryptocurrency space, whatever the case might be for the video. Today I am going to go over Cardano. A lot of people have been asking for some type of video based around Cardano and what I think about it. So I'm going to try my darndest, and I mean that to be as unbiased as possible, not here nor there. I am going to deliver the facts that I found, and then at the end of it, kind of, or I guess at some certain points through it, give you the uh, ideas that I have floating through my head about the project and what I think about it. To start off, Cardano is a decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project and is fully open source. Cardano is developing a smart contract platform which seeks to deliver more advanced features than any protocol previously developed. It is the first blockchain platform to evolve out of a scientific philosophy and a research first driven approach. The development team consists of a large global collective of expert engineers and researchers. Part of the project is the Cardano blockchain, Ouroboros, which is the proof of stake algorithm, which we're going to go over a tiny bit, and Daedalus, which is the wallet where you can put your tokens. So to start things off, uh, I found a couple of articles talking about exactly what makes Cardano special. R relatively easy to find. Whenever a new coin comes out, there are going to be people who uh, jump into it, who want to know more about it. So they're going to create articles about exactly what makes their coin better or different than other coins because if all coins were the same no one would really care about any different projects we'd all be using just one coin so out of all blockchain technologies cardano is the very first blockchain platform that came from a research driven approach and scientific philosophy instead of just a basic white paper cardano has a series of academic papers for investors to explore the team behind Cardano's development is a global collective filled with expert researchers and engineers. The team behind Cardano took this unique approach because they recognize that technology must be flexible, scalable, which is very important in cryptocurrencies, and secure if millions of users are able to take advantage of it. Because of this, the team put as much emphasis on scientific rigor when developing Cardano and the ADA cryptocurrency as they would with mission critical systems in banking or aerospace so cardano tries to set itself apart from other coins simply by saying that this has been tried tested and true which is something that we've seen before but not uh, i want to say scientifically tested i'm not going to name any other projects but there have been a couple of other projects that have come forward or that have launched over the last year literally 365 days and they say that their coin is the best because of this their coin is the best because of that and a number of developers have stepped forward almost immediately to talk about their project and to say how it does not work. Part of the reason why I am talking about Cardano now is because this has not happened yet, which is very significant because when you claim that your project can do something and it does not do it, or you make this the the code open source and other people can look through it and they go, they go collectively, hey, this does not work. This typically means that it does not work because a lot of people in the cryptocurrency space are so focused usually on one coin. They don't know that many people are usually working on different projects at the exact same time. So people who are developing Bitcoin are also working on Litecoin and Ethereum and other coins. They all, these people know each other. They have meetings together and they develop their coins whichever way that they want to develop it. But they also go over new code that comes out so they can tell the community exactly what they think about it. and at this point in time no one has really come forward about cardano saying that it does not work so this is very significant part of the reason why i haven't really gone over cardano is because of how new that it is and there are a lot of claims that cardano will be better than ethereum and even bitcoin which is a very, mm, how do I say this? You need to be able to back this up because you cannot say that your coin will be able to do something, especially if you say that this will happen by September 2018. 
as far away as that may seem, it is not that far away in cryptocurrency terms, especially your coin would need to have a dramatic pop in price. You would need to partner with an entire country like the United States in order for your coin to have this type of thing, especially when uh, when you read around online for Cardano specifically, a lot of people say that the, let's talk about the flippening. The flippening is what we believe will happen with Ethereum. A lot of people believe that Ethereum at some point will become so valuable, valuable and people will realize exactly what Ethereum does, that it will flip with Bitcoin, thus becoming the number one coin. And a lot of people who are into Cardano believe that the flippening will happen, but it will happen with Cardano and Cardano will then become the number one coin, which is, like I said, that's very that's a very strong statement to make about your project. And it's still yet to be seen if this is going to happen. Obviously, <laughs> we have not gotten there yet. Looking around, one of the most important things when it comes to cryptocurrency projects or anything is scalability and how quick your coin is. Your coin could be the best thing in the entire world. Your coin could literally have a blockchain that is sitting on the moon. You need to have information about how quick your project is after looking around for at least 30, 40 minutes, not even joking. This was probably the only information that I could find. Although Cardano currently supports a trans transaction speed of 257 transactions per second, as more users are added to the network and the development roadmap comes to fruition, that number will increase. Aside from this, I'm not joking. Uh, tell me if I'm incorrect in the um, comment section below. Please do. I always welcome critique or criticism if I have said something incorrect. This is the only number that I could find. I found other things on random forums about the uh, the transactions per second floating around 5,000. I saw someone else say 10,000. And I saw the ever incredible number of 1 million transactions per second also constantly floating around. <clears throat> Realistically, when it comes to transactions per second, you only need around 50,000 transactions per second to be able to handle world transactions. This is a number that Visa and MasterCard are constantly floating around when it comes to how many transactions they can do. So if you can match this, you are usually good. I put my thumbs up. Uh, so when it comes to anything higher than that, you know, that's kind of just like bragging and showing off. We have a lot of other coins that are saying that they definitely will be able to handle 1 million transactions per second. And it is possible that Cardano may also be able to do this. Like I said, if you have proof or have found something else that says that it will definitely be able to do over 50,000 or 1 million transactions per second, please put that in the description below because it, it was very difficult to find. <clears throat> Token utility is something that is... Uh, I want to say not incredibly important, but it's important because a large problem... Not a problem. A large... Uh, when people talk down about other projects, they tend to, one of the main arguments that they have is what can your coin do? This is one of the main arguments against XRP, not realizing that also Bitcoin and Ethereum also have this argument against them as well, because you can also argue that you can build these, these entire projects without actually needing the token itself. So token utility is very, very important when it comes to any type of project that especially says that it is going to outpace Bitcoin. So this is one of the only things that I could actually find, and I'm glad that I actually found this uh, this article. It says there are, there are a few primary reasons, primary uses to the Cardano token. The first of which is to st st serve as a store of value. That's fine. We know this is for every single coin. You can put your money into it. The price may go up. The price may go down. A lot of people say store of value for their coins. With the Cardano project looking to offer native features such as Shop with Cardano, which is on their website, which is a credit card service, the store of value use cases is fairly is clear. Um, this is great. We have a lot of other projects that have also come forward said that they are trying to create some type of credit and or debit card where you can use your coin. A lot of them have fallen apart. So I hope that this one actually goes through because this will literally be a clear use case for the token, being able to use it in the real world. Second use case of the token is protocol governance through staking and voting, which I'm going to get to in a, in a second. As discussed earlier, Cardano will be running the Ouroboros protocol, which is similar to DPoS, delegated proof of stake, and will allow users to be part of the consensus mechanism by staking their ADA with trusted partners, which is great. The third use case is to pay fees on the Cardano network. This can or cannot be a problem. Um, <clears throat> one of the coins that Cardano is trying to dethrone or push out of the way completely is EOS. EOS at the moment has no fees and there are a couple other coins that do not also have fees. But I think at this point, the crypto community has kind of 
gotten used to being able to pay fees, especially if they're very, very low. There are a lot of projects that it's like one fourth of a cent and not many people care about that, especially if it has some use on the network. Just like Ethereum, Cardano has a gas mechanism mechanism as a means for users to pay for the computed power on the CCL. So there clearly is a use case for the token, which is very good going forward. I told you before, a lot of people always come up to me and they say, can I please review this token? I get tons of emails about asking to be reviewing this token and this token. And when you look deeper into the project, the coin has no use. And I mean, absolutely no use. And it's you kind of sit there and you're like, OK, so why did they create this project? Aside from everything else, when it comes to proof of stake, one of my favorite things in the entire world is the one, the creation of new coins. Another thing is uh, the low usage of energy that this takes when it comes to mining Ethereum and Bitcoin at the moment. It's just ridiculous how much energy it takes up. It is estimated that 3.8 American households can be powered for a day by the energy that is spent to generate one Bitcoin transaction. That is absolutely ridiculous. There was a lot of um, talk about Bitcoin moving over uh, to proof of stake, I don't. I think that's completely out of the out of the talks right now. We know that Ethereum is moving there, and I think the coins in the future that have the proof of stake algorithm will become very popular, especially because this is how you also create new coins. I could not find. Once again, correct me if I'm wrong. Information on exactly how many coins you need for proof of stake, but I think this is just because the project is still fairly fairly new you also can't find much information about this for omise go as well when it comes to how many coins you will need for the proof of stake mining uh the usual number that ends up floating around for certain coins is a thousand don't quote me on that don't go out and buy 1000 ada thinking that that's the number but typically 1000 is a number that is thrown around and i guess there will be more information on this as we move closer to the finality of the project moving out. Even though the main net is launched, there's still a lot to go forward, and I'll get into that in a couple of seconds as well. Partnerships. Once again, this is still a fairly or relatively new coin, especially in the world of cryptocurrencies. Not to say that cryptocurrencies is like super old, because we know that Bitcoin is nine, nine and a half years old or something like that. But partnerships are very, very important when it comes to pricing your coin, which I'm going to try my best to get into. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to be as um, constructive and not one-sided as possible when it comes to this. So bear with me if you can. One of the only, and I mean only partnerships that I could find about Cardano ADA was from Siren Labs. I believe it says somewhere in over here. Uh, Siren Labs is strictly concerned about user security on smart devices. The aim of the company is to provide security to the users such that they are protected at all times, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this seems to be the only uh, partnership that I could find for Cardano at the moment, once again, because they are very new. But this leads to the valuation of the coin. There has been a lot of controversy about the pricing or current price of Cardano because of things, which I'm also going to get to in a couple of seconds. The other thing that I was able to find, although it is not a big name partnership, Cardano is officially accepted as a form of payment at Spain's Hotel Ginebra. According to the hotel's website, by accepting ADA as a payment, accommodations worldwide will be able to save on large amounts of commissions, which will eventually result in better rates for you, the customer. If all works out, the meaningful recognition could give ADA the credibility to continue its growth. These are the only things that I found about the Cardano project that they have partnered with. It was almost impossible to find anything else. This, uh, not this stuff right here. They're not partnered with them. This is um, a website that I found that has the uh, the, part the current partnerships of coins that are floating around and exactly who they are partnered with. And this was the only thing, and Siren Labs, was it? Yeah, that has partnered with ADA. So getting to the beginning of Cardano, uh, I started this channel about a year and a half ago at this point, I guess maybe a tiny bit less or tiny bit more. I don't exactly know the exact date. I can give you guys a date. I was being asked to make videos on Cardano, I think November 10th, December 1st. And I told people in the comment section that Cardano was literally 
six weeks, eight weeks old. It was impossible to give any information about this new project that had just started. I believe it took around two years for them to uh, completely launch the the mainnet blockchain, which is also a bit of time when it comes to cryptocurrencies. But, you know, things have to make sure, you know, yeah, got to make sure that everything is correct. So this is why I, at least for the most part, me personally, at the moment, I do not own any ADA. And that is not because I do not like the project. It is because my money is not infinite. I have gone over multiple times before in other videos. I think I made a video two weeks ago, week and a half ago, where I spoke about exactly which coins I believed in, which coins I had, whatever the case might be. And, you know, money only goes so far. And there's constantly new projects that are coming out that say that they can do X, Y, and Z. And this is probably one of the only reasons why I have not put money into Cardano. And it's because, like I said, I'm not the richest human alive. So this is kind of where it comes down to. I do think the project is great, but I still think that it needs more time to actually be able to prove itself. And this is where I get to the Cardano roadmap. This is directly on their website. You can click around a bit and you'll, or even just type in Google Cardano roadmap. One of the main things about this project is, uh, how do I say this? It is not complete. Looking around online, I looked for information on exactly when Cardano would officially launch because the mainnet is already out there. What I read online or what I have found online is that Cardano will not officially launch until the next two to four years. And that may be uh, a death blow, if I can say it. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to stand in the middle of this discussion. When it comes to cryptocurrencies, things move very, very fast. And I'm just, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna scroll down and show you exactly uh, what I mean. So if these numbers that I found online are true and it will take two to four years for this to completely 100% launch, that may be a problem as we have a lot of coins that are launching this June or even at the end of this year that are going to be very significant in the cryptocurrency world and it then may outpace Cardano. That's not to say that a lot of these things aren't going to launch sometime this year as well and that Cardano won't experience these crazy gains. But there's a huge discussion going on about the price of Cardano, where it is now. That's not me spreading FUD. That's not me shilling. I hate that word so much. Anything that other coin that may be floating around. It's about the reality of the situation when it comes to your coin, especially how new that it is. Mainnet launched September 29th. It was first listed on, uh, what's it called? Not Coinbase, Coin Market Cap on October the 1st. This is when everybody started dumping into the market. It was a smooth line sideways until the price started to float back up. If you look over here, especially for a lot of the progress on a lot of the uh, things that they will be doing to the Cardano blockchain or to the network, a lot of it is not completed. And this leads to the question about price once again it's kind of like if you are buying a maserati and you're trying to price the value of the car and you just have the frame of it and, and four wheels how exactly do you put a proper pricing on something that hasn't officially launched that's not the, once again to say that they will not launch all of these things sometime this year and or next year but the number that i'm constantly seeing around when it comes to forums when it comes to people who say that they are on the project on forums on different websites talking about the project the number 2022 the year is constantly being thrown around and it seems by the progress of the project that it may be true. You've seen me scrolling by all of these things. Nothing is really completed except for the mainnet, which is or could be troublesome going on into the future. So moving forward. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Um, it's, it's very difficult to put a price or or anything on this coin when things aren't completely completed but that's neither here nor there when it comes to the pricing of cardano like i mentioned earlier cardano was launched at a very significant time in the cryptocurrency world in 2016 and 2015 the market did not move the market started moving in may april may june of 2017 which was a really crazy time when cardano launched is when we saw the beginning of the gigantic rocket that bitcoin had hit ten thousand dollars a coin and was soon 
floating and flying its way to $20,000 a coin, which led Cardano to surge by, I think, thousands of percent at one point going from, yeah, this is the beginning of it in October, and this is where it was around December, and I think the all-time high of Cardano was around $1, I want to say $1.18 or something like that if my memory uh, is correct. The problem is, after your coin has been out for 3, 3, 4, 8, 12, 12 to 16 weeks, how do you justify a price like this? Once again, this is because the coin is still very new, and this is part of where the controversy comes in, because at one point, the value of the coin hit over $10 billion, and there were other coins that have been out for a long time that hadn't reached anywhere near that or hadn't experienced this type of growth in that same amount of time, but then the focus then turns to if Cardano has been waiting two years for this mainnet launch, there was clearly a huge amount of anticipation for the launch and people who had been reading about it, people who had been reading the white paper, people who had been researching the coin over this time, it leads to was this price justified? Were a lot of people jumping into it simply because of hype or because they have read about it and they know that Cardano is uh, optimistic and not bullish on themselves, but they're trying to take over the market in a certain way. So this is kind of where it comes down to. This is once again, one of the reasons why I haven't or did not talk about Cardano for a very long time, or at least up until this point, because even now I believe Cardano is still only 26 weeks old. That's, that's half a year. It's very difficult to talk a lot about a coin that is still very new. But at this point, like I said, in the very beginning of the video, because no, not even note, noteworthy, no major uh, figureheads in the cryptocurrency space, space have come forward to talk down about Cardano or about how it does not work like they have with, with, uh, with other coins, which I will not name. This could be a huge indication in that Cardano could actually be very, 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 very big in the future if they are able to do everything that they have said. And I said this before in other videos as well, especially when it came to Omize Go when it came to EOS. You can you can talk all you want about 1 million transactions per second, but if your project cannot pull this off, your coin will flounder. This is why I always say, please make sure to do your own research. None of this is financial advice. I'm trying to give you my ideas and what I have found on Cardano over the last six months that this coin has been around. Make sure to read the good and the bad because it's completely pointless to only read the good news about something that you're putting your money in. A lot of people only read or only watched good news movie uh, videos about uh, BitConnect. And look at where they are now. That's not to even put BitConnect or Cardano even in the same lane. But you guys understand what I'm saying. You have to make sure that you read up on what you are putting your money into. Holy cow, I'm out of breath. What leads to the value of blockchains and certain coins is things that are being built on top of them. This is why I like Ethereum. This is why I like EOS. It's because coins are starting to be built on top of these things or have already been built on top of these projects. And this is going to be very uh, important as you move forward with certain projects. The first two ICOs that we know will be launching on Cardano at this moment are Spade, SPX, and Traxia. I'm not going to read into what they do because I'm sure... It's similar to what other coins are saying that they can do, but this also adds to the value of your project. And I probably, it's fairly certain to say as Cardano moves forward, at least, I, I give it another six months, we'll probably have news about another six, seven, eight, 10, 15 ICOs that are going to be launched on the project. This leads to the value of your blockchain because the more you have resting on top of it, the more expensive your thing will be because other coins are then dependent on your blockchain. Like I said before, it's like the internet. If you have one website, who cares? If you have a thousand websites, it's important. If you have five million websites on top of the internet, it then has a huge amount of value because everything is then flowing through this project. Uh, this is not uh, even that significant anymore. It, 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 it kind of goes to... The future of Cardano and what they've been saying before, and a lot of people believe or are saying that Cardano will completely dominate the market by the end of this year. As far as information floating around the internet, I personally do not think, me, myself, that this year will be the year of Cardano simply because I think it will be overshadowed by other projects that will be coming out unless there is something significant that is going to launch on Cardano this year. 
I think a huge amount of this in 2018 will be hype. And that's like I said, this is just my opinion because the coin is still so young. You can say what you want to say. I'm sure a lot of people have uh, scrolled down a tiny bit and are putting dislikes. But be realistic about the project that you are putting your money into. Like I said, if you find any information or credible information that says that... Um, completely lost my uh, train of thought there. I compl well, completely just lost all of that. I'm not even joking. I completely just brain farted. I think it's because I had so many things uh, going through my head at one time. To finish off with pricing, when it comes to... I completely lost it. Wow, that's nuts. When it comes to pricing of Cardano and ADA, the number of websites where you can go around and check for price predictions and what they think, a lot of them actually go on the previous forecast of where coins have been over the last couple of months. So there were a lot of places, the places that had the price of Cardano around like 12 cents in 2019, which I don't think is pretty accurate. They're going off the downtrend that we've had in the market. This is probably the most realistic price that I've seen for a five year thing. That's what I wanted to say. If you find news about anything about the coin, not to, uh, all these projects that I showed you not launching over the two to four year period, please put it in the comment section below. Something credible, not something that, uh, somebody wrote and then you decided to throw into the comment section five dollars this year is kind of crazy if you have no partnerships if you have nothing else really under your belt what gives the coin that value as cardano goes along over the next five years i can definitely see the price of each cardano hitting this amount this website uh wrote a custom algorithm to hopefully predict future prices for all of our listed digital Cryptocurrencies to similar to Cardano. If you're looking for a cryptocurrency with a good return on your investment, ADA could potentially be a profitable investment option for you. The Cardano price at the moment is 23 cents. If you bought $200 worth of Cardano today, you would get a total of 852.26 ADA. Based on our Cardano forecast, a price increase is expected in the future with more adoption of Cardano. The price forecast for 2023 or yeah, yeah, 2023 is $43.87. With the five-year investment, the revenue is expected to be around 37,000 plus percent. Sorry, that was my phone. Your $200 investment into ADA may be worth $37,560 by 2023. Let me turn my phone off. I don't know why this always happens as I'm making a video. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay, so continuing on, I put it on silent. Uh, right. This makes the most sense as time goes along, especially if it is going to actually launch a com uh, completely within this four year period. But still, I'm fairly certain because the Cardano, uh, not neighborhood, people who are into Cardano, the, the, the Cardano community, they're very, very strong. They're very, uh, I've read around on exactly how much they love Cardano and they, really love Cardano. So I assume that adoption will only continue as this project continues to go forward. And I think realistically, as once again, when we have trillions of dollars floating into the cryptocurrency market over the next couple of years, I think me myself that this could possibly be a very realistic price for the coin. So usually uh, when it comes to projects, especially if you are not keen on them, if you do not know too much about them, if you read about them, you kind of like a, a bit about them. I think if you have the extra money, one of the things that I say not to kind of segue off of this, I like to put money into cryptocurrencies if I have extra money floating around. If you have an extra $5, an extra $10 to throw into some type of coin or project, I think it's fairly safe to say putting $10 into Cardano will not be a bad idea, especially as the price continues to increase in the future. And to finish things off, once again, another article that I found, can Cardano replace Bitcoin and Ethereum? It leads, I mean, only the future can tell at this point. No one actually knows anything about any coin. We've seen these exact same articles about Ripple, about EOS, about Amise Go, about NEO, about IOTA, about just about every other project that's out there. If Cardano can completely smash it and destroy everything and push past all these coins and, and do exactly what they say, have 1 million transactions per second and can be adopted worldwide then yes it will definitely replace bitcoin and ethereum 
but this project needs partnerships. And I don't know exactly what the Cardano team has in store for this coin or for this project. Partnerships are exactly what launch you forward. There's a reason why, like I always say, why I focus on certain coins. It's not because I don't like the 1,540 other coins that are floating around there. Partnerships are very important to the future of your coin. If you have partnered with banks, if you have your own consortium, if you have all these other things where you have these major banks and other things saying we definitely stand behind your coin and your project, this is what will propel Cardano forward. Once again, I personally do not think that 2018 will be the year for Cardano, but I think when it has solidified itself, let's say even this time next year in 2019, after being a year and a half old, I expect them to have a number of partnerships under their belt. I expect them to have things that we can't even begin to imagine, especially when they, if they do completely roll out with this debit or credit card, whichever it was, and it works properly and it doesn't fall through like LightPay did. Sorry to uh, mention that in, in the video. I think there may be a very bright future for Cardano because at the moment, lastly, to just throw this out there, the strongest altcoins at the moment are the ones that have the hugest backing are ADA, XRP, EOS, and Omize Go. If you look around online, these have the strongest ones. And that's not to say that Verge doesn't. That's not to say that IOTA doesn't. But these coins are the most hyped at the moment. And this is why I decided to actually make a video on Cardano. Once again, it's still too young, but I think if momentum continues, Cardano could be one of the biggest cryptocurrencies that we have on the market. Wow, I'm completely out of breath. Like every single time I make one of these long videos, I'm just completely thrown out of the loop. Tell me what you guys think about Cardano. Tell me if you guys hold Cardano, what do you think the future for Cardano is? And I mean realistic stuff. Don't tell me that you think it's gonna be $3,000. I, I think Cardano has... Um, 45 billion coins as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, realistically, something around the 10, 20, 30, $40 range is definitely something that it'll probably achieve within the next couple of years. But definitely tell me what you think about the project. Do you think it's overhyped? Do you think it's underhyped? Why do you like Cardano? Why did you get into Cardano? And are you into other altcoins that are very similar? These, uh, these uh, blockchain 3.0 coins that everyone is talking about are the future of cryptocurrencies, which is going to be a trip. Once we get blockchain 4.0 coins, watch out because I can almost assure you I'm going to be doing videos on those as well. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got something from it. I hope uh, you are more optimistic on the Cardano front. Thank you guys once again for all the support. I cannot thank you enough, and I will talk to you all soon. See you.